Welcome to the One Star Weak Foot Show, your one stop shop for player reviews, starring your host, One Star Weak Foot, and our review specialist, One Star Weak Foot. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, One Star Weak Foot, and we are back for another video. And um, first and foremost, I gotta tell you guys, happy holidays at home to anybody that's celebrating any holidays that's going on right now. I hope you guys have a safe and fun holiday season. And it's a daily reminder I gotta give you guys today to not let this game take over your life, man. Um, it's just a game. Make sure you enjoy your holidays. You put your holidays first. Don't get caught up in grinding a lot of these objectives and everything like that. It's just a game. But um, as you guys know, um, I'm a FIFA YouTuber, but sometimes I like to dabble in a little bit of science. You know, we like to be pseudo scientists, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna open 15, you heard me right, 15 of the 80 plus player pick upgrades, and we're gonna do it for science. We're gonna see how many good pulls we're actually gonna get because these SBCs are not too cheap, man. They cost about 7,000 coins, if I had to guess, because you need 10 rare players and one non-rare player. They all have to be gold. So that's gonna give you at least a minimum of like 6,500 coins, um, even if you buy them at the lowest price. So we're gonna see here, are they worth it? We're gonna start off with pack number five. I think I'm feeling number five. Number five, can we get it live? Oh my God. I guess it's worth it. We, <laughs> we started off with a 90 rated Luka Modric. Thank you very much, EA. Uh, we will take that. Now that the Footman season is over, though, um, my question for the video that I want you guys to comment on in the comment section, what would you rate Footmas out of 10? Um, I think there's one more. That's not bad at 83. Oh, I think he's untradeable, though. Damn. All right, but like I said, now that there's one more day in Footmas, what would you guys rate the Footmas promo so far? Because it had its ups. It had its downs. And... Um, a lot of people were hating on Footmas, me included. I will admit it. I will admit it that I was hating on Footmas at the beginning because some of these SBCs were really, really poor values for money. And there were some people with theories out there saying that EA is just experimenting on us. They want to see what we're willing to spend on. And I think it hit its peak like around the time that they dropped that Belgian Bundesliga striker or they dropped, I forgot, there was something they dropped the next, oh, shout out to Hamas. There was something that they dropped the next day that was also a poor value for money. And on Footbin, if you go into approval rating for these um, SBCs, there were like over 90% disapproval. So I guess EA saw that. Oh my God. Yo, these packs are OP. I might have to do this on the RTG. We've got a 90, a 91. Uh, what else? We got an eight, 285s. This is crazy. Um, we're gonna keep it moving, man. I guess that's why they asked for so many rares. This is actually not a bad SBC. But um, so far, as far as the Footmas promos go, as far as the Footmas promo goes, um, I think I'm, I, I think I've enjoyed it so far. Um, we've gotten I think six cards you can get by just grinding the game, no money spent, just time. We've also gotten some decent value SBCs, especially in the last couple of days. I mean, there's a Tal, there's a Cunha, there's Renato Sanchez, there's um even people like Gades, Guedes, however you say that guy's name, have been good values. There have been the poor values here and there like Sizoko and Mendy. But even then, even if you say they're kind of overpriced, they're still very, very meta cards. So I think EA has had the best foot miss, I think, in the last three years um, so far with this promo. Because the last couple years, the foot miss promo, in my opinion, has been pretty bad. And this year, I believe they've gotten, in my opinion, like a 7.5, 8 out of 10. It was pretty bad at the beginning, like I said. But I mean, I will have to say they will, they, they, they have picked it up at the end. Yo, what is this? What is this SBC, guys? Oh my god. We've gotten a 90, a 91, an 89, 285s. So I think already the SBC has been worth it. Um, because let's do the math, right? Let's say each SBC costs 7,500 to complete. Um, that would be about 100, what 110k. Math is not my forte, guys. Help me out. But let's say we dropped 110k for all these SBCs. We've gotten an 89, a 90. A 91, 285s, um, a couple 83s, some duplicates, um, some crappy 81s, but overall, these have really given out. I think we've at least broke even. I mean, you also have to consider the fact that we do have some duplicates. But what are we? We're like, we're 11 packs in, and these have been pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, 
So which pack should we go with here? We got pack. We'll do this one. Um, what are we saying here? Damn, we're back down to earth. Maybe I should open them fast like I was before. Because when I was opening them fast, man, I was getting De Gea. I was getting the Modric. Old Black. Yo, um, we're coming back down to earth. Um, I guess I'll take him. Because I believe a lot of these rare golds that I have remaining are duplicate untradeable. So we don't want to make this foul count. Miss oh, no. We've made the mistake three times. I think they're all... Let's see. Are these untradeable? Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. All right. That's not too bad. All right. We haven't messed up that bad. I was caught up talking about foot miss with you guys. Um, I'm not sure who's coming tomorrow. But what a lot of people are saying is that Gabriel Jesus will be an objective card tomorrow. I mean, it makes sense. Jesus <laughs> was born again or was born on the 25th. So is he coming to FIFA? I mean... I don't know if you guys saw a couple days ago, they, they posted a picture of Gabriel Jesus um, in like the little promo section at the bottom right of the screen, but then they never dropped an SBC or objective for him. So is he coming tomorrow? Because his in-game stats are already in footbin and that card looks really sick, especially for first owner objective. So I'll take him. Um, we got an 80 over here, Mario Hermoso. This guy was a beast at the beginning of the game. I remember really, really enjoying this card, but he's pretty bad right now. We got two. Two packs remaining. What is this? Pack number like 13, 14? Okay. We get an 85 De Young. Still one of my favorite cheap midfielders on this game. That 88 dribbling is an absolute game changer. We get the blue version. So that's going to be very good for objectives. It comes down to this. One final card. Question at home though. Can we get an icon out of this? I'm not really sure. I think it's just capped at normal or informed gold cards. But here we are. The final moment of truth. EA, can you bless us? EA, one more walkout, please. Come on. All right, it's not a walkout, but we get this inform Paredes. Um, how's he doing for PSG? I remember he came from the Russian League like a year and a half ago, but I haven't heard much. But the fact that he got an inform might mean he's doing good. I will give you guys some bonus content at the end of this video. We will pop open a couple. Um, of these jumbo rare gold players packs i think we have a couple left we can open yeah let's let's open four more let's get it um yeah i'm really dropping this content because um i don't really have time to play fifa today i mean it's it's christmas eve where where i'm at it's also gonna be christmas tomorrow but i also don't want to leave you guys without any content i feel really bad as a content creator for not giving you guys any content at all um for days on end so i don't want to do that i want to talk to you guys about footmas so that's why I'm dropping this video. Um, that was a pretty bad pack. We'll save those guys. We'll sell these guys. We got three packs remaining though. Three hundred K packs. What are we saying? If you're thinking about spending your Christmas money on FIFA points, it's probably not worth it. I mean, as you guys see here, that's forty dollars worth of packs right there. We haven't gotten the walkout and the best pack. I think the best pull is gonna be that Taliso right there. Or the gun again I got in the last pack, which is pretty shocking. I mean, imagine, imagine you're a kid, you come home, you spend in your, your Christmas money, and you're like, yo, I wanna buy some FIFA points, and we get Taliso and who who the hell did I get gun again? That that would be horrible. That would be a foot miss disaster. But can we get the footness miracle though? Oh my god, that's not even the board. That is shocking. That is absolutely shocking. We got one more pack to go, and then I'm gonna bid you guys a do. I'm speaking French because I want a French pull. I want an Mbappe. I want a Vieira. I want a Loris even. I will take Loris. He's a walkout. I want to see somebody walk out in this video because we did get some walkouts in those player picks, but they don't walk out, man. They just pop up out of nowhere. I want to walk out. Walk out. Come on. Damn, it's not going to happen for this video. Who is that? We're going to get uh, Campbell. I feel like Campbell is my most packed player in FIFA 20. Let me know in the comment section down below. Who's your most uh packed player in fifa 20. oh i think that might be the first time i've ever packed rabio rabio is one of those players who i never packed um so yeah it's gonna be the video today i think this sbc is actually not too bad of a value if you get pulls like that but i wouldn't you know throw your kitchen sink at it i would just go for it a few times and whatever you get is what you get remember guys team of the year is coming soon so ea wants to drain your pockets but yeah it's gonna be my video hopefully you guys at home enjoyed it once again don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, later.